Hey guys, this is Dr. JT, MD General Medicine and a Rheumatology Resident and a part-time YouTuber and I welcome you to my channel Dr. JTM and one more episode of Power Revision for Neat PG. Hope you all enjoying these videos as well as it is helping uh, your revision. Uh, I hope so it is helping for your revision. So if it is really, please subscribe to the channel and without any delay, let's get into the Power Revision video for Neat PG. And the question comes as a 26 year old female is evaluated preoperatively for a meniscal surgery with a history of heavy menstrual periods and bleeding during the dental procedures. She does not take any medications, no history of any anticoagulants or antithrombotics, uh, sorry, anticoagulants or antiplatelets. And uh, on examination, a uh, patient is completely normal on labs, normal CBC, APTT, and PTINR. But how? Uh, but uh, what has happened is that uh, as the patient is having a, uh, already history of bleeding and menstrual period they have also assessed platelet function and the platelet function analyzer 100 uh, has been uh, tested and it has got a test called prolonged VWB antigen levels are reduced which is a quantitative analysis VWF Ristocetin cofactor assay is also showing a reduced activity so this already have given you a clear picture but here uh, two to three new terms have been seen and what are those we'll be discussing in the question my eye should go on to the points like uh, heavy menstrual cycles bleeding during the dental procedures that means some bleeding abnormality is there but examination is normal vitals are normal and also we have done few investigations like cbc uh, ptinr aptt so when we talk about ptinr aptt uh, those represent present the clotting factor defect so the patient is completely uh, having a normal coagulation pathway both extrinsic and intrinsic pathway now what else is left in order to assess the bleeding manifestation platelets so platelets we have been assessed and two platelet tests was done one is platelet function uh, function test 100 that analysis is a new test that is being performed uh, for uh, these platelet disorders or bleeding man uh, bleeding disorders and particularly it is useful in assessing von willebrand disease type 2a 2b and 3 remember this this is the new question that can be asked this platelet function test uh, or platelet function analyzer 100 test is used for specifically von willebrand test von willebrand uh, disease 2a 2b and three so there is also other uh, investigation as it is as the platelet uh, disorders have also uh, the platelet function test have also been done and this platelet function test also helps in uh, differentiating glansman's thrombasthenia also so uh, remember that point as well and von willebrand factor as well as antigen levels have been tested and those are reduced so it is a von willebrand disease that is the sure shot diagnosis but that's not what we wanted we need some new points which can be asked so what are those let us see so, so how do you manage the this one will be this patient or a child? But this in India, surface surface I need to be given in the patient. Used, uh, so remember one drug, drug or, or if the option is only as all needed, but none, if the patient remember, comes on OP basis. And corticosteroids, so dental plates and also severe diseases, the platelets like are the Crohn's regeneration. And what for the maintenance factor, purpose, um, exactly so like the same uh, like the Crohn's disease that is going with the platelet cytoplasm is this uh, 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 this the biological to the latest updated type drug to be one present here carefully look at it in a follow up with us like Molecular very one will be back to platelet receptors and inside the qualities apart is from that the routine drugs and deliver these two points can be asked in the more one will be good outcome when it comes to three three comparison is also there and all this will be asked in the form of the latest check on what is the guidelines and apart from that we can also tell you two things remain in human just vedolizumab as well and jack high molecular weight binding of one and opadacin to the platelet and this receptacitinib is the one that is being asked completely deficient so in this the two also you recently it has been asked in the need assess for severe and transfusion also that is how the treat what is to be the given surgery if that can be done this is an mct that is being asked in the surgery uh, patient total proctocolectomy so for either bleeding or analgesic therapy like endothermic acid simple. is also useful before uh, and after the surgical procedures also if the patient is having uh, this menorrhagia and the basic complications will always be excessive bleeding and anemia so that is not that won't be asked but just point sake i have kept it here and now the power revision of one Wilburn disease will be the most common hereditary bleeding disorder due to platelet dysfunction is one Wilburn disease. So it is due to an autosomal dominant defect or 
deficiency of von willebrand factor okay these are the two important points that can be asked and von willebrand factor promotes platelet adhesion and function as a protective carrier protein for factor 8 so they remember that point also this which factor uh, is being helped by von willebrand factor factor 8 will be um, uh, will be helpful and is it in the intrinsic pathway is it in the extrinsic pathway that's what extrinsic pathway when von willebrand factor deficiency is present a secondary factor 8 deficiency results as As well, like we have uh, said that factor eight is being helped by that, so the, the help won't be there. Obviously, factor eight levels will also decrease. So features of factor eight deficiency will also be present in uh, cases of von Willebrand disease. If there is deficiency of von Willebrand factor, leads to mucocutaneous bleeding that mimics thrombocytopenia. So the patient should be evaluated for platelet function. Then, if the platelet levels are normal and platelet function is reduced, it is von Willebrand disease. If the platelet function uh, is normal but platelets are low, it is thrombocytopenia. Avoid NSAIDs and platelet function inhibitors as they worsen the bleeding. NSAIDs will inhibit the platelet adhesion, like aspirin. So aspirin is one of the uh, uh, NSAID that can cause that that acts as an antiplatelet. So you avoid these in these particular patients. So that's it. And von Willebrand disease is one of the latest uh, questions that is being asked, and there is a high probability that is that will be asked this year also. So please do uh, revise this by watching or uh, by watching these videos and all. all the topics that i am discussing are very very important for your exam and they has high probability of being asked either for physiological part pathology pharmacology part or medicine part so all this is being covered don't worry for the next days that are coming for neat pg one video will be released every day and your revision will be power packed and i'll be coming back with one more video until then subscribe to the channel and click that notification button this is dr jt signing off